ADOS community, this sister is a hero. She's an inspiration. Because she didn't back down. She stood her ground. She didn't allow this white cave monster to make her feel inferior, intimidated at all. She stood up for herself and her daughter. And the great thing about it is, is that she did it in front of her daughter. To instill racial pride in her daughter. To instill self-dignity. To not allow these white cave monsters to make you feel inferior to them. I can tell that this sister is woke because historically whites, uh, because we're the descendants of slaves and because they enslaved us, uh, they have the, the stigma that we're less than them so that they can treat us any type of way, that, that, that they can uh, disrespect us and disregard us. I mean, study black invisibility. How white people treat black people like we don't count, like we don't matter, like we're not worthy of respect and courtesy. But but this is a new day, white folks. I mean, this sister proves to you that if you cause an altercation and we defend ourselves and when we show you these hands, that you got to deal with the, the consequences. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, play brief audio of the altercation. And I'm going to come back with brief commentary. So bear with me while I cue this up. I'm not doing anything. I'm standing here. But I'm just standing here. She claims me. I want to say that. No. Not yet. No. She claims that. Don't do that. Dad, I got to leave me alone. Leave me alone. Watch your kids. Hard to check their cameras. Take care. You should not have went over her. You don't care? You don't care if you go to prison. You don't care if you don't go to prison. I don't care. So let's get this straight. Because I didn't say. I don't care. Okay, you don't care. You didn't say excuse. You're obviously violent. You didn't say excuse. Because you didn't say excuse. 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 You didn't say I'm Wait, like, everyone's gonna watch and this. I'm gonna, I'm about to hit you. I'm about to knock your whole head off. Say this. So keep playing with me. I'm keep not playing, playing with me. I'm about to knock your whole entire head off. Keep playing with me. Idiots community. I'm gonna post the video in the description box so that you can visually see it. I mean, the sister was just defending her daughter. I mean, this this crazy ass white woman uh, was in a department store. She reached over her daughter to get some damn shampoo. It didn't even say, excuse me, or I'm sorry or anything. That could have been anybody. She could have been, a, a like I said, a kidnapper, an abductor, could have been anybody. And any parent in their right mind would have reacted this way. So, um, like I said, I'm gonna post the video. And, and all she had to do, all the cave monster had to say was, I'm sorry to de-escalate the situation. But we all know that that's not in white people's vocabulary, that they're not peacemakers. They're not empathizers. They don't de-escalate problems because they create the problems. And it's funny, all of you immigrants wanna come over here and worship these people. Uh, all of y'all wanna come over here and, and, and uh, kiss these people's asses. But I come from a lineage of people that stand up to these people. That, that don't run from these people. Where could we run to? What countries could we run to? Where could we seek asylum? We had to take the water hoses, take the dogs being sicked on us. We had to take uh, people spitting on us. We didn't have any allies. We couldn't seek asylum nowhere. And meanwhile, y'all come over here, y'all kiss these people's asses. But we stand up to these people. She symbolizes the ADOS community. Not only did she stand up for herself, stand up for her daughter, but she stood up for her people. She symbolizes Dr. King, Malcolm X, Rosa Parks, and various others that stood up to these evil ass people. See, this is who these people are, ADOS. This is ingrained in them to be a fucking hateful ass people that causes problems everywhere they go. She is the descendant of the most horrible, evil people to ever populate the planet Earth. But ADOS, this 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 sister is a, is a hero. I don't have her Twitter, I don't have her social media, but we need to support her. And what and what's great about the situation is is when the cops came, they actually didn't charge her with anything. They're actually helping her file a harassment suit against this white cave monster because all you saw in the video was her provoking her talking about how violent she is how her daughter is terrified how other people are looking at her so she provoked her 
into uh, getting physical. And uh, all she did was slap her phone out of her hand. So she didn't hit her or anything like that. She just slapped her phone. But like I said, this is who white people are. This is ingrained in these people. But like I said, I am proud to be Eddie West. I'm proud to come from a lineage of people that stand up to the most evil people to ever exist. But that's all I got to say. Make sure you like, make sure you share, and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you drop a comment. I want to know what you think about this subject. But I appreciate all the support. And as always, thank you for allowing me to share my views. Have a great evening.